Hey guys, welcome to Outpost 95. Uh, today we're going to talk about adding some grid lines to those free maps we showed you about a month ago. Right here, you can see it all. I printed off a one of the sheets from the Bonners Ferry area on the National Geographic free PDF quads. Bring it in a little closer here. There are these blue lines are. You can see that there's no grid lines drawn. And they run the whole length of our sheet. Top to bottom there's little tick marks. And where those blue tick marks are are where you're going to need to put your grid lines in. If you're going to use the, the 7.5 series map. Same thing I got right here, an actual seven and a half series map. They've got red grid lines drawn, but these aren't actually useful for our navigational purposes. Again, we'll have our little tick marks, still in blue, and they need to go up and across. So we're gonna show you how to put those into place here in a little bit. Okay, what tools are we gonna need for this? We're going to need our map, missing grid lines, a ruler, and a pencil, a sharp pencil. Um, I like to use the mechanical ones, and then the, the point sevens are smaller or better. Whenever you make a mark on a map, the bigger area you cover with your pencil marks, the less precise you're getting. At the same time, I want to be able to read these marks, so this seems to be the best balance I can find. Obviously, if we could find a map that had the grid marks already, our grid lines already marked on them, that would be much more preferable. But the price is right on these. And if we're going into a new area and you've got a color printer and access to the internet, you can you can print off a new map, mark it up the way you need it, and it'd be off and running really quick without having to go to the store. So we've got these little tick marks here. Blue, 5392, 5392. We're gonna line our ruler up as best that we can. And we're gonna make us a line. So here you can still see the blue marks. We've got other stuff on the edge of the maps, so it doesn't always have the numbers. But you can check the spacing out. They're gonna be consistent. All right, you can see down here, you barely have got a, a line. On this side, this appears off the edge. Just like at the top, there's the distance here and the distance here aren't the same because we're trying to make a flat sheet represent a not flat earth. I'm going to do the same thing. Mark these 50, 51s all the way down the line. See if you make a mess up there, you got to be real gentle about cleaning it up. Okay, now we've got grid lines on there. Now because we might not be keeping this full sheet out, we might fold it up. We're going to have to mark what these grid lines are. As an example, my map case is going to be smaller than this sheet of paper, either way you put it. 
So if I'm using my small map case, I still want to be able to see what the numbers are here. So we're going to add those in. I'm going to pick basically a row and a row in the middle so that when we fold it, we should have access to it. You can do multiple rows. All I'm going to be doing though erasing a section of the line, marking it with the number, going up. So like here, we'd mark 87, 86, 88, that makes us 87. So we're going to mark this line here, 87. I'm going to flip it over so I can write. You can see I didn't go centered because we've got this depression here in the bottom of it. I want to have this over here where there's less terrain features. And 88. Now you can see that the line's marked. 88. Sorry, 89, 90, so on and so forth. And we'll do it on one of these, or um, one of these here. Now you can kind of see, so 50, 51, and then we're going to make this a little bit easier to see. So what we're going to do, take a highlighter. You need to mark up your map. Highlighter works really well. Now, if you really get the technical, you can use different color highlighters for different things. Like if you're gonna mark all the, the given names, or if you're gonna mark up um, elevations, use a different highlighter color for all those, and fully mark up your map that way. The same principle will work with your actual seven and a half series map. You're just gonna unfold it the whole way and you're gonna use the metal or a yardstick. But you've got your blue marks here. Because these lines that are given, they're not the ones that we're gonna to wanna to use. We're gonna to wanna to mark up them this way. Or uh, these blue lines so that we can actually navigate. I've got a completed example I'll show you here. So here you can see we've marked it up. We added our numbers. Still need to highlight them. We can see these better. Thank you for joining us today. Hopefully that was somewhat clear. Really all we're doing is drawing a, a straight line from blue mark to blue mark. Those little tick marks on the side of your map. Remember, if you want to use as, as fine of a line as possible, as precise of a line as possible, so that we can accurately employ this when we're conducting land navigation. Thank you for joining. God bless.